Huh. So with the uh, uh, pro scammers that I knew, and they were a highly organized organized crime group, uh, and I can't overstate that it was, it was a rather sophisticated, rather large operation that masqueraded as, uh, under a couple of front companies that paid taxes and everything, you know, whatever. Uh, but what they did, that was very, they did, they did many things that were honestly quite clever, sadly. Uh, one of the really clever things they did was they uh, always, when interacting and requesting the money from the victim, they always would just kind of manage it until it would sort of be kind of almost like your idea to help. Hang on. Anyways, at the time, I thought it was kind of a clever, I mean, not at the time, but upon reflection later on after I realized I had been scammed, and I only realized that after someone told me I was being scammed, and my first response was to argue with them, whatever. Anyways, at that moment, then I thought back on it, and I thought it was very clever legal strategy, where technically they hadn't really taken money from me. I offered it to them, because I was stupid. And they were good at their job. In all fairness to me, they were quite good at their job. Um, I also think, though, there's a parallel to that, and maybe it's related, maybe it's not. I guess it doesn't matter, but just I'm suspicious, and it's just sort of culturally interesting. But I, I think maybe, like, stealing is wrong, right? And they're Buddhists. And Buddhists, they certainly don't want to be seen stealing. Uh, and they probably steal, they seem to steal a lot less than we do back in the United States, I'll tell you that. Because lots of stores leave their stock out overnight, lots of stuff is not locked overnight, and it doesn't get stolen. I was told to lock my motorcycle up because it's quote-unquote what's called a big bike here. 250cc and up is big bike, and those are highly prized, and they will steal those. But an ordinary motorcycle, you can typically leave out, and they won't steal it most of the time. Having said that, Fawn's family had their brand new 110cc motorcycle stolen years ago right off their front porch they didn't lock it anyways all that to say i i think that if you're just really careful and um when you give out money if you do it electronically where there's a record i mentioned this in another video somewhere uh, use your ATM machine here in Thailand <clears throat> through the ATM machine. Your Thai friend can help you Enter, keep your bank codes tight to your chest. Don't share those with anybody that's real here. Don't do that. Um, one of my credit cards I use here is on a rotating pin. Okay. Um, be secure with all that stuff, but uh, uh, give money electronically. So there's a record. Scammers don't like that. If you start getting a request for cash, then yeah, you got a problem, pal. All right. That's it. No, thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.